Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Welcome to Comston Farm, episode number one here in Farming Simulator 22. Today, we're going to be jumping onto the new map from Oxygen David and taking a look at all the equipment and land that we get in new farmer mode, then decide what do we want to keep or what do we want to swap out. I'm also going to show you how to make some quick cash without cheating. It's pretty easy. If you like videos like this or you just want to see more Farming Simulator 22 gameplay videos in general, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any. I'll be set. Let's take a look at today's video. We're gonna be starting off fresh. I have not loaded into this yet, and we're doing it right now. You see, we start with our character customization screen. I love this dude, he looks awesome. Who doesn't want a blue mohawk? It's the number one most requested feature. There you go, and we are in. Now, <laughs> time to reset, set up this cache so that the uh, jittering quits happening. While that's doing it, let's go ahead and work on some settings for this series. We're gonna have to come up with a name. I think the best thing to do is just change this to like, Comsden Let's Play. Com, com, den, let's play. I can't spell, there you go. All right, Comsden Let's Play. Uh, auto save interval, I keep this off. It's just a personal thing. I like to be able to save when I want to save. Sometimes I want to save something, sometimes I don't. Time scale, uh, five's a little bit high. Let's stick with two for now. Economic difficulty, we're gonna go on normal for this one, I know, uh, but we're gonna start on easy because I want to show you how to get some money. Traffic, it doesn't matter, there's no traffic. Seasonal growth, actually no. We're not gonna have seasonal growth, at least for now. This may change in the future. I have tried messing with my personal seasonal growth calendar. So if we take a look here, uh, you can see this is the one that comes at base. Well, I don't like this one. And I tried to change it and it made everything disappear. It made all the gates disappear, all the blue blips, everything was gone. <laughs> and that's not good. So uh, for now, we're gonna go with no, we're gonna simulate it in our own way. So it'll be fine, it's fine. Uh, snow's gonna be turned on, fixed visual month, days per month, all of that's gonna be set right there. Crop destruction, of course. Periodic plowing, I do like having that turned on. Fieldstone, uh, you know, I'm <laughs> I'm back and forth on this one because it's just one more thing. So I think for right now, we're gonna turn that off. Lime required, we'll leave that on and weeds will turn those off as well. Dirt, fast, obviously, automatic engine start, we're gonna leave that off and then fuel usage high as always. And then of course I turn all of these things off and that's it. Let's go and save our game and we'll be done. Hey, and uh, by now, hopefully some of the cash has loaded itself up. Let's go ahead and get a nice, oh, get out of here birds. All right. Oh, my help window's on, isn't it? Let's go ahead and turn that off. We don't need that. We don't need no help around here. Double check, make sure fences are here. Hey, yep. I don't know what happened, man. It just disappeared. <laughs> it was, I really wish I could explain it. it uh, bad things happen, man. Bad things happen. All right. So we want to look at the equipment that we get base game. I'm sure you guys have seen this with a bunch of people's videos already, but we're going to be taking another look at it just in case. Maybe there's something here that you haven't seen. Maybe you missed something. So we've got two John Deere, six R's. We also have a Fint 714 Vario. Love that tractor. As far as the combine harvester goes, I think it's a great one to start with here. We could go smaller. I do like this one though, is the Class Tron 720. Now we could go more with that if we wanted to. Telehandlers, my favorite in the game, period. JCB is awesome, it's awesome. Here's a, tra a trailer that probably a lot of people haven't used. You got your crappy half pipes. Pretty cool trailer, but we will get rid of it. We have the 10 meter header, cultivator. Nobody needs cultivators anymore. Cedars, we've got this one. We might keep it, we might not, I'm not sure. Uh, the most popular roller in the game, we do have that big sprayer, and so on and so forth. We don't need to keep going, but. We need to figure out what are we gonna keep and what are we gonna sell? Well, I guess that all depends on what fields we're gonna keep and which ones we're gonna sell, if any. So obviously we start with some big areas over here. We don't have the horse riding area. However, we do have the field that's got the pig field in it, or the pig farm in it. That's field 35 at a previous or a future update rather. They're going to make that sellable. They're also going to make all the stuff in this area sellable as well. Pretty cool. Field 4, that's looking good. Field 31, that's looking good as well. Field 31 actually got the sheep pasture in it. Uh, and then we've got field 15, which is kind of what we're in right now. So we've got all of that plus three massive fields as well. Two of which are ready to harvest. Field 3 and field number 6. It's barley and wheat. That's good because you guys know me. 
flower simulator. <laughs> it's flower simulator. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, the one that you may look at to sell, it's going to give you a lot of money as well. $454,000 for field number two, just from selling it. So if you were to do anything, if you were to sell anything, honestly, like field two and then these, if you're not doing grass fields, you can just get rid of those completely. I mean, you don't have to do that. You can plant something in there if you want to. And then I would go in, maybe purchase field five, something like that. That way you've got a little bit bigger land to work with. But what are we going to do? The first thing we're going to do is get rid of the fuel stations. That's right. These fuel stations right here give you a bunch of money. You've probably seen this before, but if you click this, 875 grand. Yeah, I want that. That's, that's a high price. That's a very high price. Also, if you go over to our next farm over here, there's another one right here. Boom, right there. We click it, we can sell that to $875,000. That's ridiculous. Uh, the, he also mentioned that there was some rubbish. That all you had to do was click on it, maybe demolish. But yeah, that's it's just not working there. Another thing. So at least the last to check. See, sell the chicken pasture for 75 grand. But it also gets rid of all of the fences and a few of the triggers. I think maybe that was the problem that I had. So just a heads up there, you may want to be careful. As far as that, so at least we've got some money now, 1.8 bajillion dollars. Uh, now we can go around. The thing is, it's almost too much money, right? We've, we've almost made too much money. So we're gonna have to hide some of this money. Let's hide it by getting rid of some of the equipment and making more money and then buying equipment on top of that. But we've also got stuff that we've got to do for production chains and stuff like that. So there's a whole lot of money that we're gonna have to actually end up spending. I do know that I want to get rid of that. The telehandler's great. Not a fan of the trailer, so that's going to cultivators. Nobody cares. Uh, cedars. So this one is a, uh, what's the, the width on this? Eight meters. That's great. But for 240 horsepower, uh, that's just not going to do it. Roller, we're going to get rid of that because I've got a custom one. Sprayer, fine. Mower, that is not big enough. Nor is the, the baler. Telehandler tools, these are cool. We don't actually need them. I'll hang on to it. Why not? Header trailers, well, we could hang on to that. But the problem is... That header trailer is not meant for the header that we've got. Yes, it is on it, but it's not the one that's supposed to be there. Let's see if I can bump over and show you guys. Yeah, so it fits. Fits just fine. It's on there. Look at it. You can see it being on there, but it's not touching. <laughs> Therefore, it's not really the mod for this. So what we're going to do is... We're gonna jump in our handy dandy little tractor right here. We'll cut the volume up a little for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up. I will try and do as much with this possible. In previous uh, series, I've gone a little bit, I guess, I've gone a little bit ham. It's, it's my job after all, but went a little bit wild and crazy with stuff. So I'm gonna try and take it easier. Maybe just kind of enjoy playing more than trying to make like 10 quadrillion monies. <laughs> We'll see how long that lasts. I don't trust myself at all. But I do love playing Farming Simulator, and I play Farming Simulator a lot off screen, like probably more than a normal human being should play Farm Sim and do it. <laughs> That's how much I play Farm Sim. Oh, this is tough. There you go. All right, we'll get that backed up. I want to put it here for one reason and one reason only. I need this to be somewhere where the header drops into a safe space. Let's get it here. Just delete the header trailer. Boop. All right, safe space. If it's in there, it's kind of hard to get to. I could use heavy lift, but that's going to be, well, heavy. Next, we've got two John Deere 6Rs. These are great tractors. Both of them are. We've actually got one over here as well. But the question is, do we want both of those or do we want to start with something else? A lot of people are probably going to be using these John Deere tractors. So, I say we get rid of both of them. I love the Fence 700. As a matter of fact... We could take a look and see if there's any other Fent 700 mods that we've gotten yet. Maybe I've accidentally downloaded one somewhere along the way. Yeah, right here. So we actually do have a Fent 700 mod. And also, for this one, I think we're going to use Trellobore wheels. I really like how the Trellobore wheels look. So I thought, well, 
let's go with them. They look great in Farm Sim uh, 19. 20. What game are we playing? <laughs> So let's uh, let's get ourselves one of these. We'll go with the big engine, uh, main color. We could go with something else. The thing is, you can't change the rim color, so the rings are gonna stay red. You know what? I have never seen a white vent before. We're going to have one on this series, aren't we? Taking a look in our used equipment to see if there's anything that we could possibly work with here. Well, we got maybe a bucket here. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, is that run with tail handlers? I'm not sure. Tool could be uh, used for goods only. Tra I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be for tail handler or not. It looks like a wheel loader thing. We do have the pace setter on here, but as you know, the pace setter is not going to work well on this map. It's kind of tight, so looks like, unfortunately, none of the used stuff is going to be good for us today. Harvesters. You noticed that I saved the, uh, the harvester, right? Well, I got a modified version of this, thanks to 82 Studio. Uh, the thing is, the 73 and 7500 both have the uh, the regular holdings. However, this version looks like a bajillion. So I'm not really sure what I want to go with there. Do I want to keep it? Or do we go with like a Lexian right here? So I modified this one as well. Actually, is that Lexian? Tryon? The Tryon's the one I would want to go with. Ooh. What to do, what to do. How's about this? Instead of going with something bigger, I guess, like the Tryon, why don't we go with a Tucano? We could do this. Yeah. Uh, we'll set up, ooh, let's go with a uh, wide tire right there on the Trelleborgs. That's looking good. Okay, everything's looking good here so far. Let's get this stuff reset. We've got a little, a couple things over here. So, store's gonna be on your right-hand side. Let's go ahead and take our uh, fent and get that reset and we've got our combine here as well here's my question will this header work with this combine or am i gonna have to get another one let's go ahead and boom out the auger see if it'll reach i think that's gonna reach it hooks up by the way this is not the header for this you're supposed to use about a seven meter header for this also the tucano goes a little slow uh, I mean, it's powering it. I'm not sure it's powering it beautifully or not, but it's working. Uh, we... Uh, I don't know, give me a second. We, we may swap this up a little bit. After making a few changes to the XML file, I know exactly what we're gonna do. Wow, those birds are super loud. Very, very rude. Uh, ooh. Little laggy coming in, little laggy. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> I know, I just got it. Hang on, let me go up to it. This will be the easiest way to do it. All right, so we will sell from here. That should give us most of our money back. And we're gonna go in to the harvester. Should be down near the end. I modified something that was modified. Because I'm good like that. Uh, we're going to stick with Trelleborg. We're going to stick with Will Setups on Standard, and we will be good. Yes, I would like to purchase that for more money than I just sold the other one for, for some reason. Look at fresh! Why is it laggy? I don't like it. Anyway, everything's looking good there. So we've got a tractor. We've got a combine harvester. <laughs> Love this tractor, by the way. And we've got a telehandler. Okay. Not a bad way to start off. So we've got Kloss, JCB, and Fent. What else are we missing? We're missing harvest time. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Let's get out there and get harvesting. Time is going by and it's going by without us. So we may as well get part of it. Uh, I think what I may do is wait until we like, need stuff. And we'll just buy whatever we need to. Let's go ahead and enable that straw swab because we do want that. We've got quite a few places to sell straw on the map, so we'll be kind of spoiled for choice as far as it comes to where we're going to be selling straw. Or if. Now, yeah, if we sell the straw. So there is that as well. Let's go enable fast farming on this. I do not want to go slow, so we are going to go super, super fast. Well, <laughs> about 20 miles an hour. That's about as fast as we're going to go. I have gone through and played on this map. I played for a few hours uh, previously before recording, just kind of 
having fun, enjoying myself, trying to get a little harvesting done, selling some grain and that type of thing to see kind of how I want to start things. Normally I do that. I'll play around a little bit before I actually jump again to see where we want to record. And I think for this one, I'm going to bring you guys on a journey of me finding things for the first time, <laughs> which is totally the best way to do it. Uh, finding things for the first time, building our empire, I guess, building, building on as we need things. So we're not going to build a farm and then start using all the stuff that we've purchased. We're going to get the bare necessities for each job that we need. Obviously, <laughs> we've got $2.3 million. I think we got enough money. But, uh, you know, we don't have anything, really. We've got three implements for a telehandler with the machine itself, a combine, a combine harvester, and a medium tractor with a weight. We don't really have a whole lot. <laughs> We do have all the fields that we started off with, so we're gonna have to get some stuff for mowing, obviously. Probably what I'll end up doing is selling the areas that we've got animals on. We don't need to do that right now, so why not do that? I think one of the biggest problems that I have had uh, with series and with gameplay in general, just from the very beginning, was starting too fast. I, jumping in and being like, yeah, I'm gonna do this and this and this. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run two headlands around this farm, or this field rather. You guys saw where I started and how I'm doing things. I'm, I'm squaring it off right now because I'm gonna show you how to hire a worker on this field. At least the easiest way that I found because I have restarted a few times. Our two headlands are now done. I finished both of them. So here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna turn around. I started at this top corner. You don't have to start here if you don't want to. As a matter of fact, starting up here where the top of your screen is actually the easiest place to start this field. Curious what field I'm even in. In field number three, we're doing the barley. Yeah, welcome along. So this is where I would start probably if I were you guys. Take a look at the, the ground. It tells you exactly which way north to south, east and west is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up the tip top here. It's not completely flat, but it, it, it's close enough. And I'm just gonna hire a worker. Most of you guys, including myself, will use a worker when harvesting fields. It's just a little bit easier. Plus you can come in behind it. You can you know, run a cart or you can pick up the, um, the straw, which we are going to do today. You can see we got to about right here. I'm gonna stop him, go ahead and back it up. There we go. Help out the workers as much as we can. So now we've got an almost straight line from one end to the other. So we're gonna flip this back around. We're gonna find that straight line. I'm gonna line this header up with that. And it's gonna make about, I don't know, two, three passes until we get to another area where, well, we might run into a few more problems. That's gonna be over where the turn is right above the combine right now. So here's where it's gonna get tricky, especially if you're like me and you like really smooth lines in the straw. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna let this helper go back the other way one more time. When they come back, they may even miss a little bit, but that's gonna be okay. They're gonna put us in line for the rest of the field. And the rest of the field is, well, it's kind of important. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hire down about right there. That will work great. Straighten it up, hire a worker. We're gonna let them go down and come right back. And as you can see, we should get almost all of that and we may even go back up right in line perfect. By the way, this combine's got a 100,000 liter capacity. That's why I've gone without having done low. We got 34,000 liters in here already. And as we come up on this, we're gonna line this up almost perfect. I think we're gonna get just a wee little bit, but it's almost gonna hit this good. It may even stop. Doesn't look like he's going to. And we're gonna come right through here. We're just gonna have a little bit of speck right there at the tip top. And that is all we're gonna have to deal with. We'll go ahead and back this up, hit it. And then we're basically done with everything we need to do as a human being on this field, with the exception of picking the straw up. I'm still debating on how I'm gonna do that. I might get the, uh, the round baler up. Yeah, like a big round baler and just let it run. I've also thought about getting another different piece of equipment. 
We'll find out and see. All right, hire the worker, and now they'll be able to get the rest of this done for us, and I have harvested this field twice now. This is the third time, so I know that this combine harvester with 100,000 liters will be able to do this field without having to unload. Combine harvester's doing a great job, so now we are going to switch over to the JCB. I love this JCB. You guys haven't seen me use it, but I've used this a ton off screen and I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It's my favorite, it's absolutely my favorite. Let's get rid of that. I'm curious about some stuff and we're gonna find out exactly here today. I'm gonna take this, There's this bucket's really not gonna hold a whole lot, so it doesn't matter if we cheat in a little bit. So let's take this and we're gonna cheat in some straw. There we go. So we have 2,640 liters of straw. You see this silo right here? I don't know if you can store straw here or not. If we go in and take a look, and like I said, you guys are gonna learn along with me. Maybe you already know. Straw, zero liters. Does that mean that we can store it? I don't know, but I'm about to find out. No, all right. <laughs> Turns out the answer is absolutely not. At least not here. <laughs> you know what? I got a better idea for this. <laughs> I don't know where you can store straw, but I do know that it's not right here. Let's go into the build mode. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. Uh, let's go to soften. And all you got to really do is just like boop that one time. There you go. So everything's... <laughs> that didn't really work well, did it? All right, so I don't know where you could store straw. I don't know if there's a hayloft around here somewhere. I've tried looking around, but I can't really find anything. So if we just take the tip stations, so this is something neat that you can do. Um, you can take your tip stations. As you see, we've got water tank, we've got Comsden 2, remove junk. We don't need to mess with that. Liquid fertilizer and Comsden silo 1. Well, those are the only places on our silos. Now, of course, we do have some tip stations around. So you can see Garden Center, uh, Lime Station, but we're looking for one that looks like an arrow pointing into something. And as you can see, Sawmill and Water Tank are the only places like that. So I don't know where we're able to sell or store, rather, the straw, but not anywhere that I can find. Well, I'm sitting here thinking... I'm probably never going to need this. I'm probably never going to use this. This is the liquid fertilizer silo. And though that's cool, very cool, I don't think I'm ever going to need it. Also, I'm looking at this. I don't think I could ever sell this. <laughs> Great. Uh, you can't sell that. But I could still sell the, uh, the chicken pasture for 75000 and literally every single... Uh, thing to go along with it. So it doesn't look like I'm able to sell that. But what I do want to do is place down one of these. So this is a silo that our good friend uh, uh, Trucker Matsy has put together. Um, not for us. It's one that he had, but I <laughs> stole it. We could put this down somewhere. We could put this down somewhere. I want to be careful and to make sure that this is put on some flat ground because otherwise it's just going to be a total total disaster so the question is going to be okay i need to put this down awesome where am i going to put this down where it doesn't cause trouble am i going to put it here i'm going to put it like that but i don't even need straw at this farm i need straw at this farm where do i put it it doesn't do it here either <laughs> i i just wanted to double check but yeah it man it doesn't work anywhere does it not even a little bit oop we got 98 percent 99%? I was about to say, how am I losing straw? Well, it keeps dumping it out, that's why. Uh, can I do the little, the little trick? It? Where, where am I? <laughs> I'm glad you guys are along with this to kind of help make fun of me. I really need you guys for that. Uh, let's see, let's go like that. Ooh, we're not able to go in there with that. Oh boy. Um, hang on, let me empty that out real quick and let me see if I can get this straw up I may have I may have overdone it we may have straw on the ground for eternity yep we're gonna have straw under there forever sorry 
<laughs> All right, so uh, another idea that I looked at was possibly getting the silo in here. Of course, as you know, uh, the silo comes out and goes towards the outside. Well, you could also put, you know, something else under here if you really wanted to. So if we take the silo that we had, which is uh, this one, you can see I am able to put it in here. I'm just not sure it's a good idea. Um, it doesn't stick out, so that's great news. Um, there's really nothing we would put under here. I thought about putting the combine harvester under there. You know, I'm just really not sure. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold off for now. I'm gonna, huh, worker stop down there. And you know what's interesting? He did that when I was doing tests on this as well. That's odd, there's something over there. Let's go onto the map and find out and see. Doesn't look like it shows anything over here. Oh, it does. Look at this! You got a toolbox and a, uh, whatever that is. Underground. How in the world does this happen? Through all of the testing and everything. How does this get by? I would have found this immediately. This is an owned field. And you miss that. Come on! I think for right now, maybe just doing bells is probably our best thing instead of trying to pick up loose straw and then keep it for cows that we don't even have yet. Maybe this is the best way to do it. Just put it in bells, put it to the side, and eventually, eventually, we will have enough straw to do whatever we want to with. So, Trelleborg looking good. Let's go ahead and buy that. There's some more money down the drain. We'll have this reset over to the main farm so we can get uh, ready and probably... Oh, hey, speaking of getting ready, look at this guy. This guy, 92% in here. So we have 92,000 liters of wheat. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and collect this little bit right here. We'll bring that there. Line it up with this so if any straw pops out. Nah, it doesn't look like that was enough wheat to put any straw out. I am going to run this backside. So we've got a baler. Should be over there now. It's also in the power range of our uh, Fin 700. So that's good. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, we're not having to buy an extra tractor. I did want to use the Corona. I'd actually planned on using the Corona. Just didn't turn out that way. I wanted to use it. We just don't the tractor that we have right now isn't powerful enough to run it and i just don't care i just don't care enough to to get a more powerful tractor just to run that it's got the horsepower for it i'm just not sure the weight is uh right where we want it to be so come through there pick that up we'll run alongside this line until the straw is done and then i think and by i think i know that will be it for today's video. Thanks for watching today's episode. Number one from Comsden Farm from Oxygen David. If you haven't, go check out the Let's Plays that I've done over on Elm Creek. We're not done with that one yet. We're going to get to 30 episodes, so get a couple more to go there. But it's not over yet, and this one certainly isn't over. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. That way, the next time I post a video, you don't miss it. All being said, hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.